Today is titration curves. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this. <laughs> it's too bad you're not here to titrate it in person because it's a lot of titrating. So um, titration is all about the process of using a burette to help you with your calculations. So I always tell people this is like the equivalent to an electronic balance. Um, it reads volume very accurately. You can estimate to the hundreds place. And so if you know the volume that you've used and you know the molarity, you can easily calculate the moles that you've been added, that you've added. And so what we've got today is a strong base, sodium hydroxide, that is in our burette. Now I can tell you the concentration for this is point, oops, put it over here. Concentration of the NaOH is 0.187. Standardized it yesterday. Okay, so for part one of this lab, we're titrating a strong acid with this standardized NaOH. Your goal is to use, use the data to create a titration curve, use the titration curve then to help figure out the concentration of the acid. Okay, so we've got a strong acid here. Okay, you want to know the volume used. Hopefully it's right at 20 milliliters. Looks like you did a pretty decent job measuring it. Okay. So that's the volume of your strong acid. I'm going to add it to a beaker. And instead of using an indicator, like we did earlier in the year, mm -hmm. we're using a pH meter this time around. So the idea is that we're going to add some NaOH and record how much NaOH we've added. And we'll let the pH meter tell us what the pH of the solution is. So you're going to end up with data that is volume of NaOH added versus the pH in the beaker. Right, so in the lab right up there's a data table there so you can record data if you'd like as we're, as we're creating it. So a pH meter has a little glass electrode. It's probably kind of hard to see. Um, that's what's actually helping us record the pH. I don't know, Mr. Moore, where are you, Joe? Oh, come on. Oh, no, don't do this. You son of a gun. <laughs> this is sample four. Sample strong four. acid sample four. Yep, strong acid sample four. We're going to titrate it with some sodium hydroxide. So zero milliliters added, and there's your pH. Okay, so we'll start adding sodium hydroxide one ml at a time. Right. There's one mil added. And there's our pH. Two mils added. Good. Okay. Four mils added. Is 
a little bigger jump that It was a little bit bigger, yep. Okay, I'm going to try a half here. I can see that. Okay, there's a half now. So that's 6.5, right? Uh, 6.5, yep. Okay. All right, another half then. Seven added. Seven and a half. Who jumps now? Uh -huh. Eight added. <laughs> okay, we'll go with it. Six point seven two. Okay, yep. Half. Takes us to nine, nine right? Nine, yep, nine is. Okay, good. You ones now or you want to go by uh, ones is good, I think. We've we've hit it. There's another one added. Now you're to ten millimeters. Ten ML. Okay. Eleven. Can even twelve added? Yep. I think one more will do, take care of it for us. Okay, there's twelve. All right, sample four. We're trying to find the concentration of that strong acid. Yep. 